Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Sunday, April 25th, 2021. Today's puzzle has a title. It's called Stretching Exercises. It also comes with a note. It says, in the print version of this puzzle, each shaded square is combined with the circled square above or below it to form a single cell. All right, I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna look like. Let's take a look at the grid and see if that makes a little more sense to us. Um, shaded square, I don't see any circled squares. Um, huh, I guess maybe these, since they're touching, shaded squares would be circled in the print version maybe? It's a little confusing. Maybe once we um, get everything filled in, it'll do some kind of uh, graphical magic and it'll make a little bit more sense what the puzzle's note is talking about. Okay, let's start with one across here. Muhammad Ali's me, we, e.g. Um, did he say that? I don't know. I don't remember ever hearing that before. Hmm. Verve? It's like energy, I guess. Hmm. It's 50-50. Well, those are odds. Maybe. Hmm. These are both running into the gray squares, so we have to imagine there's some kind of shenanigans happening here, so it's not surprising to me that we're not really having any luck filling anything in so far. That kind of stuff abbreviated. Hmm. An equivalent phrase for this, but it'd be abbreviated. Man, I guess we should maybe try and work around these gray squares for now until we have an idea of what's going on. Buckaroos. Oh, I think... Doesn't buckaroo actually have a specific definition? I can't remember what it is. I mean, I know you call little kids buckaroo sometimes, but I don't think that's what they're talking about. What may be in a star's orbit. I have a feeling this is going to be maybe like the celebrity star, not an actual celestial star. Um, could it be hangers on? I think that would be a really good clue for that. Like people hanging around celebrities. Yeah. Hmm, would this be an S? Cause this down is a plural. Counter tenor? Uh, is this a singing voice? Hmm, it would begin with an S? I don't, I don't think a singing voice starts with an S. Hmm. Mountain chain that stretches from Kazakhstan to the Arctic. To the Arctic. Ah, wouldn't that be the Ural Mountains? Shoot, yeah, I think it probably is. Yeah, the mountains in Russia. It's probably Urals. Okay, so it's not hangers on. Um, maybe it's entourage? A little less of a negative connotation there. Okay, that's still a very good answer. Um... Maybe this is Alto? That would be a range of singing voice, right? Okay. Uh, hmm. Mint. Like you would mint money, maybe? Print out? Maybe? That could kind of make sense if you're specifically talking about money. Epitome of smoothness. That should be silk, right? Okay. Let's take out printout for now. Put in silk. I'm a lot more sure about that answer. Mint. Hmm. Fictional pilot with the line, you like me because I'm a scoundrel. Yes. That's everyone's favorite scoundrel. Han Solo. Okay. Here, blank. Again, here I go again, maybe? Milk for un café, that's coffee, I think, in French, right? Um, wouldn't that be lay? 
Isn't the word for milk in French lait? Un café. Oh, maybe this isn't French. Maybe this is Spanish. Yeah, it probably is, because then it could be leche, which is milk in Spanish, right? Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. SNL alum Hartman. Yeah, that was Phil Hartman. Yeah, he was very funny. Um, It sort of looks like it's going to start with print. Is it printing? A mint? A printing? It could be. Gaming novice slangly is a noob, yeah. All right, so maybe it is just printing. Act as a blueprint for as DNA for proteins. Oh, man. Well, DNA kind of is a blueprint for proteins, right? So, hmm, I'm not sure what they're actually asking for here. We're getting a lot of crossing help on this long answer here, though. I don't think we've even looked at it yet. Sheep's milk product that's often grated. Mm, well, looks like it's going to end in cheese at least. Um, okay, well, that'll help. Do a waving motion by the ocean, say? Could that be hail if you're like hailing another ship? If you wave at them? Maybe. You don't say an equivalent phrase. I don't know, it could just be ha, or maybe har, like a sarcastic response. Roots author Haley, that's, isn't that Alex Haley? Yeah. All right, well, maybe it's not hail. Oh, this is a tricky clue. This is almost wordplay. This is a dance, right? It's the hula, that's a waving motion. And since it's Polynesian, It'd be by the ocean. Oh, that's a nice clue there. You don't say, I guess it's huh, maybe? SWAT team or Navy SEAL group, EG. Um, well, it probably starts with elite. Um, I would want it to be like squad or, I'm not sure what, it's gotta be a word for group here, something like that, but. Force? Maybe force. One time MTV reality series filmed near Hollywood. Isn't that The Hills? I never watched that, but I think I've heard of it. Recall regretfully? Yeah, that could be rue. You rue the day. Throw with power. It could be hurl. Sometimes baseball pitchers are called hurlers. Start off on the wrong foot, maybe. Hmm. Is it trip? I don't know about that. Auditing org. I guess that's the IRS. They do audits, right? And I guess maybe it is trip. Courtroom statements. Those could be pleas. Yeah. If you're pleading guilty or not guilty. So maybe it's squad then. Uh, could we just put in quad here? Is this going to be quad also? 765 foot long water coaster on Disney cruises. I mean, boy, it really sounds like it's going to start with aqua, right? Um, hmm. So are these supposed to be like combined maybe? So maybe we're just supposed to see them as one Q. That proves it. Yeah, that should be QED, Latin, quad erat demonstratum. Thus it is proven. Yeah. Okay. Bone to pick. So this is just going to be one U here. Um, hmm. It's not a beef like yesterday. Huh. Lighter than light. L-I-T-E, that's interesting. This is the kind of like commercial spelling of light. Hmm. Word after soul or solid. That should be food, right? Soul food or solid food. All right, it looks like we've just got... I don't know, I guess it's just doubled answers. 
So these are just one big Q, one big U. And the title of the theme was stretching exercises. So I guess maybe we're supposed to imagine that it's like a long stretched Q, a long stretched U in these boxes, something like that. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how this is going to end here. It could be like aqua dive or something. Contaminate. Could this be befoul? I would love if that was the case. That's a great word, befoul. Hmm. You too, playfully. Hmm. Smart. I would want that to be hurt. Like if something smarts, it's painful. Wood that's resistant to warping. Oof, man. Yeah, I don't think the foul is helping. Alleviate. It's not smooth. Hmm. Classic name for the land north of England. Scotland? Uh, well, it probably starts with SC, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to end in, though. Hmm, lighter than light. Maybe it's no cal. Yeah, because like light would be like a light soft drink or something. And something lighter than a light drink would be a no cal drink. Yeah, okay. That's also like ad speak. Okay. Bone to pick. Hmm. Okay, alleviate could be soothe. Yeah, that's that's good. Contaminate. That could be infest, maybe? Still a pretty good one. Issue? I have an issue I need to talk about? Yeah, okay. Shocker at times is an eel. Yeah, all right. You two playfully could be at two. Yeah. That's the Caesar quote, right? Smart. So it's not hurt. I've, maybe it's, maybe it is mean. Maybe it is something that means clever, sharp. Hmm. Okay, well, a wood could be teak, I think. That's a type of wood. Is this Scotia? And then Nova Scotia is New Scotland? Oh, that's cool. I don't think I ever realized that. <laughs> is this Aqua Duck? And then this could be chic so it's not infest it's infect Ooh, that's tricky yeah i mean hopefully it's pretty easy to see the mistake there with chic so hopefully that's not too bad shade similar to verdigree oh man <laughs> you've never seen that before distinguish oneself i would want this to be excel so maybe that's just two l's um, yeah, okay. Secured skates with up. I guess that could be laced up. Okay. Interesting. So maybe now that we know how the theme is working, maybe we can get this. I think this could be pep, right? Like energy. Um, it's 50-50. Hmm, that kind of stuff, abbreviated, maybe etc. Okay. Oh, I just got a kind of a brainwave on what the theme might be. I was thinking, I was looking at this and I was like, it says quad, so maybe it just has to do with the fact that there's four letters. But I think this is actually a muscle because the quad is your quadricep muscle, right? In your leg. And this title is stretching exercises. So maybe it's not just stretching the letters. Maybe it's muscles that are being stretched also. So this was starting to look like pec to me, right? And I was like, oh, is it muscles? And I think that's what it is. So stretching your pec muscles. And I wonder if these are all casual terms for muscles. These are both kind of abbreviated names for the uh, actual names of the muscles. So... Um, it's 50, 50, one. Hmm. 
Pecorino cheese. I think maybe I've heard of that. Course taken in shorts often. Course. Me, we? What in the world is this? This is such a strange quote. It's 50-50. I don't, I, I can't be one, right? Wait a minute, maybe it is one. Because 50 divided by 50 is one, right? What a crazy clue. Okay, maybe it is one. And then maybe Me We is a poem written by Muhammad Ali. I had no idea he was a poet. Um, okay, buckaroos is a slang term for money, right? Okay, so pecklins? What in the world are pecklins? Course taken in shorts, often. What? This is so weird. Is it not printing? Pecklins. Oh man. Uh, I'm s I'm pretty sure about everything here. I'm gonna take this square out just so I remember to come back to it. But man. Maybe it's just Pecklins is something we haven't heard of before. Region with a unification flag for sporting events. I guess that could be Korea. Flinch at? Could that be balk at? Yeah. If you're kind of like doing a double take at something, you're balking at it. Okay. Brawled in the backwoods. This is dialecty rassled. Yeah. Okay. Ending for a dean's address. Maybe their email address would have an edu after it. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm just going to wonder if we can guess at this muscle. Maybe it's a glute. Let's see if that's what it is. Your gluteus maximus. Um, Verdigree teal. It starts with a G. Hmm. Ancient home to Priam's treasure. Hmm. I won't blank it. I won't need it, maybe? There's a lot of possibilities there. All right, well. Fly off the shelves. That could be sell. If something selling really well is flying off the shelves. Risque communique could be a sext, maybe? Sending racy photos. Made a boo-boo. That should be slipped up, right? So maybe it's slipped up. Yeah, lots of peas in there. Okay. Um, maybe this is trapped for your trapezius muscle. Okay. Um, what is this gonna be? Oh hell yes. Um. This looks like it wants to be an ing. I don't know about glute though. Although these feel really good. Oh, hell yes. Hmm. Certain formal duds. That could be a tux. Duds are clothing. Casual term for clothing. So tux is a casual term for tuxedo. Out of practice could be rusty. Least klutzy? Well, this is a superlative, so it's probably going to end in EST, whatever it is. Um, hmm, yeah. Grammy category won multiple times by Kendrick Lamar. Um, well, he's a rapper, so it's going to be best rap something album. Rap artist? All of that is too short, huh? Quick refresher. Could be a nap, maybe, yeah. Nice round number. And this is wordplay. I have a feeling whenever you see number in a wordplay clue, it's usually talking about a song. Unless it's talking about, like, an aesthetic, and then that's really tricky, and it would be a number. But I think this time it's probably talking about a song. Um, 
Hmm. What would be a round song, though? Hmm. I'm actually not sure. Maybe I'm not right about that being a song after all. Hmm. Oh, these stretched muscles are getting in the way. All right, maybe we can start breaking into this corner here. Oh, right. Name that sounds like two letters of the alphabet. Oh, man. Ugh, those are so hard to get cold. Positioned to win. On top, maybe? Hmm. Shared with for quick feedback. Hmm. Cut into, I mean, that could be sliced, maybe. Turn red, say. Ugh. Shoot, we really need to build off of something down here. Where gymnast Simone Biles won four goals. Maybe that was Rio? That sounds about the right time period. One celled organism. Could that be a amoeba? The alternate spelling of amoeba? Dead serious. That could be I mean it. Okay, we've got a little bit of a toehold back. New students at Princeton or Yale in 1969. I guess, was that the first year they had co-eds? Interesting. That's a lot later than I thought it was. One of three characters in MASH. I've seen this before. They're not going to fool me. There's three asterisks in MASH. Okay. Very tricky one there. Bottom. Could it be the butt? Yeah. Enter unannounced in a way. Something in? Hmm. Photog's setting. Photographer's setting. I guess that could be the f-stop. Yeah, we've seen the f-stop on the puzzle a few times lately. That is the focus distance of the lens divided by the aperture. Yeah, okay. Not a problem. Hmm. There's a famous half one in Yosemite National Park. I've been to Yosemite, so I know this. There's a half dome. Yeah, it's like a mountain in Yosemite. Um, so it's not in. Enter unannounced. Hmm. Saves with away. Puts away. You put away money. High priority item. A must. Something. Hoodwink? Could be scam, maybe? You're scamming someone if you hoodwink them. Aligns in a wood shop. I think this wants to be trues up. Yeah, if something's true, it's aligned. Okay. One's behind the scenes. That could be set crew, like on a uh, musical or a play. Okay. And uh, that about covers it. Hmm, an equivalent phrase. Hmm, it's like you're wrapping up a speech or something. Oof, boy, this section's really hard to break into. Best rapper? Best rap performance, maybe? Yeah, there we go, man. Yeah, I don't know what the categories at the Grammys are, so that one's kind of tough for me. I guess this could be a raid. Yeah, like a police force would raid. They'd enter unannounced. Not a problem. Could be easy, maybe. If something's not a problem, it's easy. So this is teal green. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see that before. I was thinking it would be something a little more complicated than just green. Okay. Nice round number. Okay, so it wasn't a pun about a song. It was a round of golf. And if you hit par, that's a pretty good number. Okay. Okay, so Priam's treasure, was that Helen of Troy, maybe? P. Troy. Bollywood megastar Aishwarya. Oh, man. I don't know this. Um, I won't hear it, maybe? Hmm, could be a lot of things. Pending. Howdy, everybody. 
uh, maybe another way to say hello, kind of dialecty. <laughs> Is it hi y'all? <laughs> that would be pretty good. It'd be pretty equivalent because he's this person's saying hello to everybody, and this is a plural you, so that would make sense. Cable network with movies like Sharktopus and Mansquito. Yeah, that's sci-fi, aka Siffy. Okay, Pen Pa. This is wordplay. Okay, I think this is going to be about a father who's in a pen. So maybe that could be a boar, a male pig. Wow, that's a very very tricky clue. That's really good. I like that. With 44 cross, it goes around every hour. It goes around every hour. It's going to be about a clock. I somehow doubt that. Float component? Um, Maybe like a root beer float? Yeah, that would be soda. Okay. Just hanging out could be idle. It really blows. Could be a gale, a gale-forced wind. Uh, oh, is this Big Ben? Big Ben is the bell, right? So maybe it's just Big Hand. Yeah, like the big hand on the clock goes around every hour. Yeah, okay. All right, well, that's great. We got a little bit of help in this problem area here. Um, so is this gluten-free, like bread made from almond flour? Yep. And... Oh, hell yes. Hmm. Pending. In transit or something? It's not quite right. Name of the girl on Game of Thrones who said a girl has no name. I'm guessing that's Arya. I don't remember that line, but it's pretty likely. Visibly scornful? Uh, could it be sneering? No. Hmm. Cold that just won't go away? Uh, is it ice something? Is it an ice dam? <laughs> it could be. I, I feel like it should just be like icy weather though. Ain't dead blank. That should be ain't dead yet, I think. Super popular. Hmm. My dear man. Could that be sir? Super popular. Hmm. Maybe this is snooty, visibly scornful. Vessel protected by Hera. Vessel? Hmm. Wasn't that wouldn't that be the Argo? Yeah, like Jason's ship. So maybe it's Hmm. Sneery? You're sneering? Okay, yeah. I guess that works. Oh, and then Ice Age would be a long time of cold weather. Okay. Very good. Hmm. I guess this is so yeah. Yeah, it's another way to vaguely end when you're talking. Okay. Kennel club category could be a breed. Yes. So red hot is super popular. Yeah, that's good. And then pending could be in limbo. So what? abso freaking lootly What a fantastic piece of fill. Wow. Wow, that is so fun. And you get glute in it too. This is, I wasn't sure how I felt about this theme, but this entry is amazing. That is so great. Abs of freaking lootly. Wow, so good. Okay, and then we get another ab here, stretched ab. Shared with for quick feedback. Ran by, I would say, yeah. It's a very workplace piece of language there. Position to win, so it's not in. Hmm, it's not on top either. Turned red, say. No, it's turn red, say. Okay, so it could be die. Um, 
And then position to win could just be ahead, I guess. Okay. Name that sounds like two letters of the alphabet. R E R E. Okay. Shouldn't this be in code? So it doesn't end it in a G. Interesting. So I'm glad I'm glad that's not a G because that means hopefully that'll explain why we're having this weirdness up here. Um Mint. Oh, it could be pristine. Like something's in mint condition. It's pristine. So this is PE class because you're in shorts in PE class. Okay, there we go. Boy, do I feel better after getting that filled in. Excellent. Okay. Cut into... Um, in case? That doesn't make sense. Hmm... Is it not in code? It feels like there should be like intrude or something, but knucklehead could be a dodo. Least klutzy could be deftest. Yeah, if you're deft, you're very agile and skillful. Okay, so withstand could be abide. Oh, and then incise is a way to cut something, right? Like you have incisor teeth. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's great. Gooey spread? Hmm. Starts with a B. Racy selfie posted for likes on social media in modern lingo. And it's not a sext. Okay, I guess it ends in trap. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever heard this term before. Hmm. Makeup table is a vanity. Spot between programs, e.g. A spot is a different word for a advertisement, right? So a spot, an ad between programs, TV programs, could be a TV ad. Um, it's not tourist trap. Supporting role, it's not extra. Uninteresting could be dull, dim. Hmm. Beehive material. Shouldn't that be wax? Or maybe it's the hairstyle beehive. That would be hair, right? It's another tricky one. There's a lot of um, wordplay that isn't indicated on this puzzle. I'm enjoying that quite a bit. Annual May race informally. A race in May? Is that car racing? That could be Indy for the Indy 500. Uninteresting could be dry, yeah. Supporting role is an aide, yeah, like politicians have aides. Thirst trap? Okay, that makes sense. When you're thirsty, you're uh, kind of lusty, right? So thirst trap does make sense. Gooey spread is brie, okay. Yeah, thirst trap is great. Even though I haven't seen this phrase before, I believe it's a real thing. It sounds very contemporary, so I like that. Consider with on could be chew on. Encouraging cry could be raw. Vocalist's asset. Uh, maybe range. If you have a broad range, you'd be valuable as a singer, right? You could sing a lot of different songs in a, a lot of different um, registers. Directly criticize on Twitter with an at. Um, boy, there's a lot of social media stuff today. It's very modern. Um, I do use Twitter, but I'm not sure what this is. It's not just added. Maybe that's what it is, because they're using the at symbol. Maybe it's just added. Uh, it'd be T-E-D. Yeah, because there'd be two T's. All right. Yeah, that could be. Get snake eyes, say. Roll a two. Yeah, excellent. All right. Teased incessantly. Uh, road. If you're riding someone, you're teasing them, right? Kind of cavity. Oral cavity? Could be your mouth is an oral cavity, I guess. Hard vehicle to park would definitely be a limo. I would not want to be in charge of a limo. Bit of faulty logic. Well, this has to be an L, right? 
Okay, lat. Yeah, that's another muscle. Um, set straight could be orient. Uh, hmm. Price to pay informally. Yeah, that's damage, right? Like, if you ask someone what's the damage, you're asking how much something costs. Yeah, okay. A leap of logic is faulty logic. Okay, so what is this? Eloped? We're running mates. What a great wordplay clue. That's fantastic. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to think about that one because that's a really good clue. Yeah. All right. They often come to professors with excuses. Late papers. Yeah. Included for free with a late paper is the excuse. Okay. Sandwich supposedly named after low income New Orleans workers. I guess that would be a po' boy, maybe. I've heard of po' boy sandwiches before. Quite a jerk. Uh, I guess it could be a yank, like an actual jerk if you're pulling on like a rope or something. Okay, major piece could be an opus, like a major piece of artwork. Org with lots of money to waste. Organization with lots of money to waste. Where's the wordplay here? Waste? Is it F? Is it the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency? Is it about like getting rid of waste or something? I'm not sure exactly. Order member could be a nun. Yeah, like a religious order. Gillette razor name. Is that the track? I think they have a track razor. At least it's not the, the Atra. <laughs> Still a pretty obscure razor. Lacking experience could be raw. Begins a triathlon is swims. Yeah, you swim. That's the first leg of the triathlon, right? Like the clue for 103 down, I guess, is that um, meta because it's self-referential. Yeah, okay. Literature Nobelist Bellow. I think I've heard of a Saul Bellow. And then this is going to be a delt, right? Delt, okay. And then this is a must-do item. Okay. Yeah, these are all stretched muscles. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm pretty happy with this theme. I think I actually just, I think the um, the note was worded weird because it mentioned circled squares and there's no circled squares here. So I think if they had just said each shaded square is combined with the square above it to form a single square, or even if they hadn't had a note at all, like that would have been fine. Yeah, I think they could have just left the note out and we could have figured out that it's stretched muscles. Especially like because the puzzle's called stretching exercises. And I imagine when we finish the puzzle, we're going to see some stretched letters. Let's see if my prediction comes true. Okay. Oscar winner for his role as a Mexican narc in traffic. That's going to be Benicio del Toro. Nice. Miniature for a World War II buff. Um, maybe that could be a model tank. Yeah, okay. Make an appearance could be show. Very interesting. Equivalent phrase is ooh, yeah, I like it. Recess for a prayer should be an apse, I think. Yeah, so let's just make sure we get the downs correct here. Telenovela is a soap, yeah, like a soap opera. Some drink dispensers could be urns, yeah, like a coffee urn. And extend out is poke out, yeah, if something's like poking out of your pocket or something would be extending out. Okay. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Wow. Look at that time, that's pretty darn fast for a Sunday. That's great. Yeah, and look at that, we got our stretch letters. Yeah. I think I loved this theme. This is great. I think the I think the only bad thing about the theme is the note. Like I think they just shouldn't have shown the note and this would have been a perfectly fine theme. Yeah, the whole thing about like circled letters was just kind of confusing. Yeah, I think they should have just left the note out and this definitely would have been just fine on its own. Yeah, anyway, I've gone on about extraneous notes. So I think uh, let's just talk about the rest of the film for just a second. I mean, I think it was fantastic. Like not very many proper nouns, some really good wordplay. We're running mates for eloped. Really good. Yeah, like this one, what may be in a star's orbit, Entourage, that's a fantastic clue. Yeah, that's really good. And I loved this one. This is like, this is the attention to detail that I really like. Howdy, everybody. It's like telling you it's a dialect 
and you have to be addressing more than one person. And so that we kind of just logically put it together. They should probably be, hi, y'all. Yeah, I just love when you can use crossword logic like that to get the right answer. That just is so satisfying. And then abso freaking lutely. Wow, look, it uses two of the muscles. Look at that. That is just amazing. What a great piece of construction here. I really liked this. And then you got our butt glute little mini theme. It's nice. Yeah. There's just so much to like about this fill. There's just so much good stuff. All right, I think our crossword solving muscles got a really good workout on this one. I'm feeling very limber. And uh, so that means I'm ready for the Monday tomorrow. The nice easy Monday puzzle. We're gonna be going over some nice base level solving tips. And yeah, I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.